Hey everybody, this is Craig Carter once again here for another Trades Tuesday here at Interplay Learning. Uh, I know there's about a thousand people currently streaming onto this right now, so since you are one of those many thousands, it just actually increased. Uh, make sure you're liking and hearting, even commenting below during this, so make sure you do that. But this rendition of Trades Tuesday actually has nothing to do with actual uh, HVAC content or trades content, but it does have to do with a hardware launch that we're pretty excited about here, which actually shows, hey, how could you scalably start to learn more about different trades and learn about different HVAC equipment that we're pretty darn excited about here at Interplay. And that is the recent launch of the Oculus Quest, which to give you a high level uh, description, this is a all-inclusive, high-powered headset that really shows. Sometime in, in the world of technology, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have products that evolve and they get a little better and they get a better. And then you also have product revolutions. And I'm gonna say that this is pretty darn close to what you could call a product revolution that might totally change the landscape of how people train or play video games in VR. I know that there's some people out here that do a little bit of both. Um, but let's just dive into, you know, what does an all-inclusive headset mean? Now, I wanna preface that some of you are gonna maybe say, hey, Craig, yeah, I got this cardboard box in my newspaper and I threw in my phone and, and I, I've done VR, okay? Yes, I understand that maybe that has happened and that has occurred or maybe some corporate swag had that happen. Okay, that is not what we're gonna call immersive VR learning that is ready to get you, your team members, you know, a whole industry up to speed faster. So, you know, just imagine creating a rooftop package unit, you know, with multiple troubleshooting simulated activities using of intense multimeters, physics, you know, mechanical physics knowledge. That's gonna to have to happen in a pretty high powered system. And we know here at Interplay, coming up very soon, can't tell you exactly how soon, that you're gonna be able to do this inside of this uh, uh, Oculus Quest. Now, uh, one thing I wanna go over that gets me pretty excited actually is Oculus is owned by Facebook. Many of you might know that, some of you maybe do, who knows, but to be honest, where I get excited on the Oculus side of things is we all do know that Facebook has many ways, they have many revenue streams, uh, they don't just sell VR headsets. So to me, this thing comes launched at $399 and I, who knows actually how low this can go. This ends up being able to perform with the, time, with, the, with the level of fidelity that we are hoping for, you know, knowing Facebook's ability to not raise prices, but hopefully lower prices to get people utilizing more of their hardware. I get pretty excited about that. Um, so one thing that you'll notice, as you've seen in some of our other uh, VR setups that we've done in the past, we have no more base stations. We call this inside out tracking, meaning when I put this on, there's no other little portals or things I have to set up. I have gone through the setup process for the Oculus Quest and it was pretty freaking ridiculous. Like it was cool. And so when I think about the world of scalability and the world of VR training, you know, the ability to almost ship this box to somebody, have them put it on, get it going in a minute, like this, this has that potential, and it's pretty darn exciting. Um, certainly there are gonna be some power constraints, or I'm gonna call fidelity constraints when it comes to this, and those are some of the things that we're working on here at Interplay, so unfortunately I can't tell you to go to our website now and start doing some VR training in your Oculus Quest. Hold on your horses, so we're not there quite yet, but we're getting there pretty close. But, um, you know, so there's certainly some elements that when you're doing VR training with a high-powered gaming backpack plus one of the other high-powered uh, uh, headsets out there, there's going to be potential for higher fidelity, potential for, or probably not potential, probably higher fidelity, you know, ability to maybe do uh, some, you know, some things that you might not be able to do in here, but actually the jury's still out with what our Cracker Jack team of, of you know, VR, VR ninjas of the Interplay team are gonna be able to do with this, so we're pretty excited on that front. Uh, with the Oculus Quest, you're also gonna be getting uh, 
Uh, and I kind of get a little lost if these are the exact same as the Rift hand controls, but in general, they're pretty sweet. Certainly light, small, got an assortment of very usable buttons. Uh, in the world of Interplay, I end up doing a whole lot of demos where this is people's first VR experience uh, as we're introducing them to the capabilities of VR. And to be frank, like, I think that these are going to be pretty darn easy for people just to put on that Oculus Quest, grab these hand controls, and start working. So those are the things that I think about, because I'm thinking about, hey, how do we get, you know, how do we introduce people to VR? How do we help people realize that this is you know, the potential future of how I'm going to upskill my own, you know, five-person team of HVAC guys or my team of 2,000 deskless workers that I need to get up to speed faster. So, you know, there's so many elements inside this quest that gets pretty darn uh, exciting. Uh, one thing to note is we're continuing this unboxing here. Uh, as you can tell, pretty small box. Imagine this goes on top of here. So just think, you know, not two boxes. It wasn't an official unboxing. I kind of peeked into it before. Um, but to think there certainly is going to be a battery inside this quest. Like, you know, this is untethered, meaning there's no wires. You're not connected to anything. It totally changes your VR experience when you can do that. But you certainly are going to have some power constraints. Uh, meaning, you know, at this current point, you, you, you're not going to be able to go for 24 straight hours doing HVAC training. You know, you're probably going to have to charge it up a little bit. So uh, they're, they're, I'm assuming that these are going to go in here or there's going to be a chargeable headset in there. Probably should have done a little more betting on exactly how I'm going to do that, but I'll know more tonight when I, uh, when I get this quest all lined up. But that certainly is one thing you're going to have to think about with the quest, which you certainly don't have to think about uh, with the high-powered uh, you know, VR that's you know, ready to go right now. Um, and those, that's just you know, one last point. You know, this, this is kind of an exciting hardware discussion Big, and I've actually already gotten emails from multiple people that are saying, whoa, Craig, okay, how close are we to Quest? And so I say, okay, we're not quite there yet. I would say that there are very few enterprise companies that are currently training you know, inside the Quest. There certainly are you know, a whole list of some of the top um, kind of consumer games that are out, and they got very early access to all this stuff, but you know, we got our access not too long ago, or even included in, in a slide on the Oculus Quest Enterprise launch, so we were pretty excited about that. Um, not sure exactly where I was going with all that, but uh, just to kind of dive in and to think about the, the future of where we potentially see, and, and I'm sure all hardware manufacturers are gonna come out with something ends up being pretty comparable. You know, this to me is, is what we have right now, and it's amazing. Like the ability that we can give to you know, any training manager a box this size, and they can travel around the world giving you know, interactive simulated equipment and bring it to life and reduce travel costs, reduce training costs, you know, the whole bucket of what you're able to do with this is ridiculous. Like, I, I do know that that's, you know, why people are utilizing VR training to help scale in general. Because right here, computer, laptop, PlayStations, in the end, it's not that big. I will, though, note, I, uh, I could even, have, even ask my filmer, Lauren, to see, and maybe she'll nod or head yes or no. Like, one of these is smaller than the other, is that correct? Yeah, okay, she's, she's nodding her head yes. So just to think, like this is not only a fraction of the cost, but we are getting to the point of like, you know, size, the ability to ship this, you know, in the mail. We're talking $10 here to ship that to and from, just the opportunities end up getting endless. So not only are there cost reductions on the hardware side, very, very, very noticeable one, you know, shipping costs, the ability to just get this around anywhere. There's some amazing, exciting opportunities that this is going to unveil. Uh, you know, we're, we're working very diligently across the team to get our training into here. Uh, so we're excited on that front. And, um, you know, pretty much those are the high level things I wanted to cover on this hardware focused version of today's Trades Tuesday. Um, I want you all to know that there are still great benefits for diving into your HTC Vive or your Oculus Rift. All of our stuff still plays on those headsets. 
still going to very much always benefit for diving in, getting a hard uh, VR ready computer, because just that experience is always going to be a very premium experience right now, at least for the next you know year or two. I can assure you that. Like there is a whole heck of a lot of horsepower going on in that computer that's going to drive an amazing VR experience, and we're very excited about the high powered mobility that uh, the Quest does uh, bring into this world. So excited to introduce you guys to that. Certainly shoot us over any questions on this uh, Facebook Live, and I'm sure we'll get uh, some responses to that. And other than that, thank you guys for joining us here on Trades Tuesday. Goodbye for now.